Hi everyone. Uh, today we'll see uh, the frequently asked question on uh, informatica. Uh, what is the complex mapping? So uh, I think uh, many people are aware of this. So we were doing interviews. So they frequently ask this question: Can you explain any, any complex mapping uh, which you implemented in your project? So such kind of question they frequently ask. So if they ask this type of question, so how to explain the complex complex mapping in Informatica? Okay, so many ones. So I have seen interview. So if this question, if anyone, we ask the question, so what they explain is, they thought, you know, if you have more transformation in your mapping, they thought like a complex mapping. Suppose I asked a question to one of the uh, person. So what they tell is, you know, uh, I have 100 or 200, 300 transformation in my mapping. That is a kind of uh, complex mapping in my project. So even though you have 100, 200, 300 transformation in your mapping, it won't be a complex mapping. First you have to understand, first you have to understand that what is a complex mapping. So not only transformation count. Suppose many people thinking, you know, I have a 100 transformations or 200 transformations in my mapping. So that is the complex. No, it is not a complex. If you have a more transformations, it is not a complex mapping. First, you have to understand this. Second thing is, so <clears throat> if you say like this, you know, if you say like I have like this many transformations in my uh, mapping, that I consider as a complex mapping. No, suppose I'll take an example. I'll give an, an example here. Suppose let's see, you have 100 flat files with you, okay? The requirement is uh, simple here. The requirement is very simple. Just want to join all these 100 flat files. I want to load it to my target. Okay, so you can take a join transformation. Join transformation. So how many is required now? 99. That means you have source. Then suppose let's see you have 99 join transformations and you have a target. So it won't be a complex mapping, right? It is just simple logic, joining the sources and loading the target. But where is the complex logic here? You have 99 joiner transformations, but it is not a complex mapping. So the thing you have to understand is, if it is a complex mapping, don't assume if you have a more transformation that is not a complex mapping. The first thing you have to explain them, what is the complex mapping? The first one is, complex logic you may have. Our second thing is, you know, even though you have less transformations, maybe logic is, logics are more. So complex business requirement. Hmm. Okay, so you can say that if you have a complex logic, If you have a, sorry. Uh, okay, so if you have a complex logic, then you can consider that as a complex mapping, not number of transformations. Suppose there is a uh, tricky business logic. So to implement that mapping, you need more time. So there are many uh, logics you have to implement. And also there are some dependencies on that. So that kind of thing you can consider as a, complex mapping. Even though you have less number of transformations, the logic is complex. So that's what I give an example here. I have a 99 Jagger transformations with me, but that is not considered as a complex mapping. I have 100 transformations in the entire mapping then. It won't be. Even though you have 10 transformations in your mapping, but logic is too complex, then that is considered as a complex mapping. 
So going forward, don't say this answer. I mean, say that I have this many transformations. That is uh, that is the reason. Okay, it is a complex mapping. No, that never considered as a complex mapping. If you have less transformations also, but with business requirement is complex, and that logics whatever you are going to implement that is uh, complex, then only that is a complex mapping. For example. I have a source, then I have some transformation called expression. I have some aggregator. I have some lookup. After that, some I am using some SQL transformation. Okay, some expression. Then I am going to use some lookup here. Some expression, aggregator. Again, some filter. So, like this is an example. So here, source qualifier, I have some query. I already have a complex business requirement. To achieve that, I have implemented a query, very big query, which having more joins and some filters, such kind, I mean, more, more tables we are joining and also some filters you have using there. So such kind of query I am having in the source qualifier. That is like a complex business requirement to achieve that we have implemented some logic in the source qualifier. So along with that, top of that, I am not able to implement logic. So I'm taking a text, uh, some transformation. Let's say we are having only five columns. Okay, five columns. Every column you have some logic. So from source qualifier to expression, we are passing all from expression to aggregator before passing these columns. All five columns I'm having some different logic. That means all the columns you have some logic, right? So that you are passing to aggregator. You are doing some operation here. Look up you are taking, so you are doing some operation. So SQL transformation you are taking it, you are doing some operation. Again, the expression here, I'm doing some other logics for the all five columns. That means each and every transformation you are implementing more logics that can that can be considered as a complex mapping. So in this, I'm saying in expression, I said right here, I have only five columns. Suppose you have 200 columns. All 200 columns, I have a different logic. So whatever you are extracting from the source, we are not pass as it is. All the 200 columns, let's, let's take something you have to do for each column. There is some requirement, okay? Some business logic is there for each column. So you have to implement that. As per the business need, you have to convert it. So then you are passing that, there's a complex. That means you are doing a uh, logic for all the columns here. So I'm not saying it's for all, it's not man it's, it's a mandatory to that. I'm just uh, giving an example. You can explain like this. I have 200 columns. In that 100 columns, I have a complex logic. So each column I have to do some uh, logic implementation, for example. So you are, calculating some uh, percentage or you are calculating some tax. So then you have to do some calculation using the multiple ports, right? Or else some columns you want to find out some what is the length of the column. Some columns you are converting into different things. So each and every column there is some logic. Okay, so I want to concat few columns and then I have to compare with other transformation. So such kind of things you are implementing in one transformation that result I am going to use in somewhere. So you are implementing multiple logics in one transformation, that output you are going to use in somewhere to perform other calculation. So that's, that, that means you are implementing complex logics. That means you are not ex simply extracting the data. You are, just so you are, you are, what you are, you are, what are doing here is, you know, you are doing, some calculation or implementing some logic and you are pushing into the next transformation, that transformation using this input, sorry, this output. So what I mean to say here is you are not simply pushing the data. Okay. You are not simply pushing the data. Each and every transformation, you have some logic that you are implementing it. I mean to say that, so not minimal calculations, more calculations or more logics you are implementing. That is a complex mapping. Suppose I give an example here, right? I have a, 99 gyro transformations. What you are doing there? Source, then you are connecting to 
giant transformations. So 99 giant transformations, you are using it, simply connecting to target. So the, it's not a complex. Where is the logic over there? Just you are joining the sources and pushing into the target. So you have 99 giant transformations. Then what is the use of it? It is just an extraction. No logic there. It's just like a giant condition you have to mention. But coming to this right is simple mapping only. But here, each and every port you are implementing some logic. Such kind of thing you can explain in the interview. If you say that, so don't say this time, I have 200, 300 transformations. So that's considered as a, some people I'm seeing that interview, they are saying SCD type two is a complex mapping. Wow, so if you are coming to some project, absolutely implement SCD one and SCD two. Okay, that is like a regular thing. So that's, that can't be considered as a complex mapping. Okay, that is the one thing you have to remember. And second thing, as I said, don't say the transformations, like these many transformations I have. So that is a uh, complex mapping. No, that's not a complex mapping. So after this mapping, let's see, you have, a, after that, there's one more mapping. So there's some dependent dependency. This is the mapping one, I have a mapping two. Like this, you have many mappings you have. Okay, so there is a dependency. First mapping should be completed first. Then third mapping should complete. Then second mapping should complete. So such kind of dependency, that's like a business requirement. Okay, that's also should be not only the logic here. Business requirement also should consider. So uh, the, as for their requirement, so first map, this mapping should run first. Then third mapping run. Then second mapping should run. So there is some logics. And also, there is some reusable functionality in it. Let's assume this lookup is a reusable lookup. I want, I, I mean to say that they want to use this lookup. Or else let, let's give an example like this. Okay, this is the, okay. So there is some common logic for all the mappings. Let's take this part. Is that this particular part is common for all these three mappings. That means, we are going to create a reusable transform, I mean, uh, transformations for that. that. I mean, is that you can go with the maplet. That maplet can be considered to the other map, all the other two mappings. That means you have a source logic is complex, and each and every transformation has some complex logic. And also, you have some reusability functionality here. Uh, and also, some dependency between the sessions, sorry, the workflows. Uh, sorry, sessions only, sessions. And if you have multiple workflows, yes. You may go with the work plate concept. Suppose there is there should be some dependency between as I said, first session, then third session, then this this one. Or else you want to set some dependency. After this, I want to set some dependency between the workflows. Yes, you can go with the worklet. The such kind of is like combination of all that can be considered as a complex mapping. So going, so I think it's clear for everyone. So not only number of transformations so entire this combination complex logic com complex business requirement so all this combination so as i said source logic is complex uh many logics in that uh there are also multiple logics for that columns suppose as i said you have 100 columns so, so suppose you have 200 columns 100 columns you want to implement uh, 100 columns you have to implement different different logics and you are using some reusable functionality and you are setting some dependencies and there is some other dependency between the workflows so all this combination it considers a complex map so you can if anyone asks into you you can say that so complex mapping this looks like this it's a combination of all so there might be a sometimes there may be more transformations sometimes See, I'm I mean, said number of transformations is combination of all these three. Not only, I mean, say that if you have more transformations, you have that's that's not considered as a complex map. You can say that okay, I have these many transformations, but each and every transformation I have a complex logic. That means each and column I'm implementing uh, different logic as per the business requirement. So that's that's the reason. So now okay, you can see you have very few transformations here, but it's a complex mapping because I have complex logic inside. So don't blindly say that in interview, okay, I have a 200, 300 transformations. That is the complex mapping. And please don't say SCD1, SCD2 complex mapping. 
SCD1 and SCD2 is a regular duty. Suppose you are working on some uh, projects, the incremental loads are common. So don't say SCD1 and SCD2 is a complex mapping. And also don't say, I give an example, I have this, I have seen one of the guy told in the interview, I have 100 sources. Okay, I am using joiner transformation. So 99 joiner transformation I have implemented. So the mapping looks very big. It's a complex mapping. Don't say that. So even though the mapping looks big, there is no logic inside. It's just like extraction between multiple sources by using joiner transformation. That is not a complex mapping. So these kind of things you have to remember going forward. If you, if you are attending an interview, you don't say huge number of transformations considered as a complex mapping. If anyone say ask, you can say that there should be a complex logic in my uh, mapping. So I have this many transformations. You can say like hardly I have 10 transformations, 15 transformations. That is a minimal. You can say like that. If you, if you say like that, everyone will believe. If you say 200 transformations, right? I don't know what kind of mappings those things, 100 transformations, what kind of mapping you will have it. So usually we have transformations, maybe uh, it's like a 20, 30, it's a very big, big complex mapping sometimes, right? There will be some transformations, there's a limit, but not 100, 200 transformations. So even see this mapping also consists of complex only, we have more logics here. So complex mapping doesn't depend on the number of transformations. Even though you have 10 transformations, if you have a complex logic inside, that is a complex mapping. So please remember these points whenever you are attending, attending uh, entry going forward. So you just uh, understand that what is a complex mapping and you explain them. This is what, if you explain only few transformations with some complexity, that is fine. You no need to tell more transformations, I have these many. If they ask a question, can you tell me what you have written in 100 transformations? Now it's the same question for this guy. 100 sources he is saying, what logic you implemented, join, join condition he mentioned, other than what logic you have? That's not a complex, right? So that is what a thing you have to remember. You can say, any if you, anyone asks an interview, okay, boss, I source qualifier, I'm having this much complex logic. I have a complex query implemented. Top of that, I have uh, additional logics. So I have a uh, 150 columns in my source, 100 columns I am implementing a different, different logics for 100 columns as per the business need. That is a complex mapping. Then I implement after that, that output I am passing to the next transformation. I am utilizing that in that particular transformation. Okay, I am using after that some lookups. I am comparing this data. So lookups also, I have uh, implemented some lookup override query. I have implemented some logic to get the, uh, sorry, to implement a business logic. So such kind of thing, each and every transformation having a logic that you can, that, that is the way you can explain the complex mapping. Okay, after that you can say, so there is a reusability concept. So that for that I have used a maplet. That maplet again contain a complex logic inside, but that's it, that can be reusable. So like that you can explain that so they can consider, okay, this is what they're implementing. Even though if you explain four pair transformations like that, that's fine. Okay, so this is what about the complex mapping. So I think uh, uh, it's clear for everyone. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, so that's all for today. So we'll see you in the next session with a different talk. Thanks everyone.